Hank, you're chasing a story. A hero, absolute hero, saved a life, an NJ Transit cop. What a video. Yeah, good news in a bad situation, Bill. Statistics show us uh, that it's about once every three hours that a person or vehicle is hit by a train, usually, usually a tragic consequence. This weekend in Sea Caucus, it nearly happened again uh, when a man tried to end his own life by standing on the tracks. His attempt at suicide was thwarted in the nick of time. None to spare by New Jersey Transit Policeman Victor Ortiz. Can you imagine the struggle? It goes back and forth. It's a tug of war for a man's life. Off he goes, and there goes the train. No Seconds. time to spare. It's amazing. Seconds. Now, in a statement, Transit said they, quote, could not be more proud, unquote, of Officer Ortiz's incredibly brave work, adding that they hope Ortiz's save would serve as a stark reminder of what Transit cops do each and every day to keep people safe. I spoke to Phil Lubitz from the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Uh, because of our stricter firearm regulations, uh, we're actually pretty low down the scale in a number of states that experience suicide by firearms. As a result, we tend to see uh, more suicides uh, on the train tracks and bridges. There's now, Bill, New Jersey Transit trains have seen about 100 trespasser fatalities since 2012, many of them suicides. According to Operation Lifesaver, a national organization which specializes in rail safety education, there were about 36 trespassing casualties in 2015 in New Jersey, 25 of which resulted in deaths. That's seventh nationwide. What people may not realize or care about as they try to end their own lives tragically is that they're not the only ones involved. When someone attempts suicide by train, there's an engineer who usually sees the whole thing. You know, this really plays out in you know, symptoms that are similar to post-traumatic stress disorder. A large number of uh, individuals tend then to experience uh, difficulties in relationships, uh, increased uh, substance abuse use. Now again, Bill, thank goodness, this situation uh, here in Secaucus was averted by the brave work of a New Jersey transit cop, but it doesn't always turn out that way as we know. And despite a great deal of effort from railroad operators nationwide, whether it's SEPTA, NJ Transit, Amtrak, uh, these things do still occur often right here in the Garden State. What strikes me, two things. One, he almost gets pulled into the tracks himself. Yeah. So the bravery just knows no bounds. And what I understand is he was working past his shift because they were light staffed at, at the station that day, sure. which is amazing. You're the type of person you are when nobody's watching. He's all by himself there on an island, risking his own life, pulling this man who does not want to live to safety. I mean, Officer Ortiz, I mean, he deserves a long vacation and a reward for this. He's a pretty awesome yeah, guy. I, I feel like yeah. I've got to put this out. Operation Lifesaver states the obvious again and again and again because people don't seem to get it. Stay off the tracks. There's no reason to be out on the tracks. Uh, and now that's a different message to someone who's had yeah. enough and is trying to end their own life. But to anyone else, if you think it's a shortcut to another town, if you got to walk, right. stay off the tracks. Just stay off the tracks. All right. Thanks.